If you're not measuring it, you're not going to manage it. It should be just that normal and just that expected to pick up a shoe, uh, look, look at the, the, the side of it and see the carbon impact. Product and packaging are the, really a carrier of a message that, is, that we're trying to convey here to the people, right? With the label that we put now on the product as well as on the package. We talk about the calm footprint of everything that happened behind it. And until we put that out there, uh, you know, everyone's just kind of waiting for someone else to go first. I think the first thing that we did was try to get to a baseline of what a standard performance sneaker might be. And we compared a few different models, but generally arrived in the like 10 to 12 kilograms of CO2 range. We used what's called an LCA methodology or life cycle assessment which means that we calculated all of the emissions created across the lifetime of the product. For us, we define that as cradle to grave, which basically means from growing raw materials all the way through to end of life. So there are five main buckets of emissions captured, materials, manufacturing, transportation, product use, and end of life. Once we start to develop a library of products, whether it's a bicycle or a flight or a meal that you eat, um, that's when these numbers will start to make sense. And then make those comparables available for the consumers so that they understand what kind of options they have. I think that having like an industry standard for evaluating the different environmental impacts of a product, it's the way that we can really empower consumers. That can become a conversation less about what does a unit of greenhouse gas look like and more a conversation of how to make decisions that are better for the climate.